Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Justice League Throne of Atlantis. This movie is starring Matt Latner as Aquaman, um, Sean Astin as Shazam, um, Rosario Dawson as Wonder Woman, Nathan Fillion as the Green Lantern, Christopher Gorham as the Flash, um, Jerry O'Connor as Superman, um, and uh, Shamara Moore as Cyborg, and Jason O'Mara as the Batman. Now, Throne of Atlantis is a continuation of Justice League War. During the Justice League War battle with Darkseid, things go bad, and in the process of the bad things happening, the King of Atlantis gets killed. And so, that's not a, it does not leave a good taste in the mouth of his son. Because he's pissed off, which is totally understandable. If your father gets killed, you will not be happy. I don't think you would. You're not going to throw a party unless you didn't really didn't like your dad. And, and, that, and that's, pretty, that's, that's still in bad taste, though. You went through it. That's just horrible. But after, the, after his king died, he's pissed off. And he wants to kill everybody on, our, on, on, on the surface. He wants to kill the heroes. He wants to kill the humans. Because of the, because of the heroes, his father died. Because of their war, his father was a casualty. And that does not sit well with him. This movie is pretty much about Aquaman. And, and, and him becoming, well... Let me him become in his journey to become Aquaman. He gives a little brief history of his origin. Um, it, 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 um, it, it explains well. It doesn't explain how his powers work, but it, sh it shows you how him learning how to use his powers, which happens pretty pretty quickly, because it, it goes from him not really knowing anything about himself to knowing how to talk to fish. I don't, I don't know how it happens so fast that right way, but. I mean, it's also another little thing that I did. I mean, I mean, the also relationship between him and Mira happens kind of too quickly for me. I mean, but but overall, I did enjoy the movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, they, they use the, the same animation style from the like I said from the from the first one, and I and, and I like that. The pacing was good. The action scenes was great. I had to give the movie a grade. I give it a solid B. Because the the movie takes pieces from the comic book, but it doesn't follow the comic book completely. It just takes certain things and they do their own version. But I but I, I enjoyed it nonetheless. So don't take, don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. If you liked it, you hated it, you thought it was just man, eh, let me know. So that's my review on Justice League Throne of Atlantis, and. Just like any Marvel, like a Marvel film, something happens at the end, at the end of the credits. Now I don't know if this is going to be a continuation from this movie, or the movie ending here, or this may expand to something else completely entirely. I I don't know, but something does happen. So just stay that. So just watch at the end of the credits, and you'll see for yourself. So that's all I gotta say about that. So peace out, everybody. And a bumblebee too.